guys, this isn't a woodworking video, but I wanted to share this valuable tip with you all. If your stove has this style of buttons on your panel, then you need to watch this video. I've literally spent hundreds of dollars replacing this panel for my stove, and I've replaced it multiple times before I figured this out. If I paid somebody to replace this, I would have likely spent thousands already. With these types of button panels, it's very common for some of the buttons to stop working over time. This isn't just an issue with uh, frigid air stoves like what I have. This is an issue with all stove manufacturers that use this type of button panel. And when this happens, most people end up calling a technician or replacing the entire panel themselves like I did, uh, which ends up costing you a lot of money and ends up making the parts manufacturers a lot of money. But I'm going to show you how to fix this panel yourself using a simple 10 cent pencil eraser. A while back I posted another video where I made this heat shield for the panel. At the time I thought that the buttons were failing because they were getting too hot and something inside the panel was melting. But you see, the thing is, there's nothing wrong with the panel or the buttons themselves. The issue isn't with the panel, it's with the ribbon cable that connects the panel to the stove. Over time, the contacts on the ends of the ribbon cables develop some kind of oxidation or film that prevents the cables from making good contact and the film needs to be cleaned off. This is where your pencil eraser comes in. First, I placed a towel underneath the front feet of the stove so that it wouldn't scratch the floor as I pulled the stove out. Then I pulled on the handle of the stove and pulled it out from the wall. Next, I removed the back panel so that I could access the ribbon cable and then also access the screws that holds on the front bezel. I removed the remaining screws that were holding on the bezel and then I removed the bezel so that I could access both ribbon cables. The ribbon cables are locked in place and secured by these little tabs on the ends of the connectors. Simply pull up on the tabs to release the cable, then you can pull it through to the other side for easier access. Once you have easy access to the cable, simply take your pencil eraser and rub each little contact point on the end of the cable. Flip it over and then repeat the process on the other side. After you finish with one cable, repeat the process for any additional cables that are coming out of the board. When you're finished, insert the cables back into the connectors and secure the cables with the tabs. After you get the cables secured in place, test out all the buttons to make sure that everything works and then reinstall the front bezel and the back panel. And just like that, your stove is like new once again. Now definitely not required, but if I helped save you a few hundred bucks and you wanted to say thanks, I'll put a link right up here to my tip jar. All tips are greatly appreciated and help support my channel so that I can continue making videos like this one. So that's it. Until next time, take care, guys. <laughs> if you like this video and would like to see more like it, be sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Until next time, take care, guys.